This is Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. This broadcast on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, is being made possible by Hood Canal Communications, committed to providing quality services that exceed customer expectations in voice, video, data, and customer service, keeping our community connected since 1934. Mason PUD3, connecting our community with safe, reliable, economical, and sustainable services 24-7. And Mason Health, United Community, Empowered People, Exceptional Health. Good evening and welcome to Terry Gregg at Court in the Shelton High School Mini Dome. Tonight, Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, continues coverage of high school basketball with an Evergreen Conference girls matchup between the Centralia Tigers. I gotta turn myself up because I can't hear. <laughs> and the uh, Shelton High Climbers as we wrap up the regular season. My name is Diedrich Allen, and joining us, uh, joining me for the broadcast is Jerry Apple. Hi, Diedrich. Looking forward to the game. Aiden Yu and Daryl White are also uh, helping out uh, with uh, to, uh, tonight's game, uh, which is senior night for the Lady Climbers. Shelton comes into the game with an 8 and 11 overall record, 3 and 8 in the Evergreen Conference. Is that right? Yes, that is. The high climbers are coming off last Wednesday's 51 to 39 EFCO loss at Aberdeen. Centralia is uh, 1 and 13 on the season, winless in 11 conference games. The Tigers also suffered an Evergreen Conference loss Wednesday, falling uh, at, uh, to WF West 71 to 23. Last time uh, Shelton and Centralia played was January 4th, with the High Climbers beating the Tigers 51 to 38. The Climbers were led in that game by Olivia Liv Henry, who uh, hit three three-pointers and finished with 19 points. Gabby Monroe added 15. Coming up, we will talk to Shelton coach Chris Swanson, recognize Shelton's senior players give you the starting lineups and of course the tip off it's evergreen conference girls basketball regular season finale the centralia tigers at the shelton high climbers on mason web tv powered by hcc hood canal communications keeps our community connected we provide communication services that connect friends and family we're connecting with our neighbors through support of local causes and events connecting our students and schools to a world of learning resources, and connecting you to the latest technology with local customer service. Learn more about our community connections, high-speed internet, and streaming TV options. Visit hcc.net today. Hi folks, Diedrich Allen with Mason Web TV powered by HCC, your source for live high school sports with play-by-play. -play. Once again, Mason Web TV is broadcasting select games every week this school year. Football, basketball, baseball, softball. We bring you all the action from the kickoff to the final whistle, from the tip-off to the final buzzer, from the first pitch to the last out. Watch how it happens on Mason Web TV powered by HCC. Business owners, you can get in on the action as well. Go online, email, call, or text right now to find out how. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. An important safety reminder from Mason PUD3. Please never touch a downed power line. If a power line falls on your vehicle, stay inside and call 911. Tell others to stay back. Wait for emergency personnel. Never touch anyone or anything in contact with a downed power line. Always stay at least 100 feet away. Never use an object to move a downed wire. Don't remove trees or limbs near a downed line. Electricity travels through ground, trees, branches, and more. It's not safe. If you see a downed line, call PUD3 at 360-426-8255. And we're back at the Mini Dome. Dietrich Allen, Jerry Apple, top of the court, or top of the stands at the opposite of the scorers table, our usual location here. And the Mini Dome, Jerry. Uh, before I get onto the coach, it looked like he had something to say. No, nope, okay. So I did uh, talk to Coach Chris Swanson. It was almost uh, well two hours ago, an hour and a half or so. 
And, well, this is what he had to say. Coach Swanson, final regular season game, senior recognition. Let's talk about your seniors a bit. Can you run them down for us? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've got, we have seven in the program, um, five that have been playing varsity with us. So, you know, Sister Cordova, um, Danica Squire, Liv Henry, we've got Raquel Ruiz uh, and Gabby Monroe. Um, and then at other levels, we've got uh, Maya and Rosa. Um, and so we're going to recognize them as well. Um, and really just, you know, for all the success we've had this year, it never would have been possible without these key five seniors that are part of our varsity program. So let's talk about your success, and you're comparing that to last year, obviously. You just, you're just a little bit out of the playoff picture, right? Yeah, we need some help. Um, there's a scenario, you know, we take care of business tonight, and, and if we get a little help from Black Hills beating Rochester, then we go into a playoff scenario. Oh, okay. um, so we're, we're not completely hopeless, um, but we're, it's out of our hands. And so, you know, we just need to take business, uh, take care of business if we can tonight with Centralia, play a good game, finish the season strong, and, and hope for a little help. Now let's talk about Centralia tonight. Um, you got them down there. You want to repeat tonight, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think, you know, what I tell my team is respect your opponent, respect the game. You go out and you play the best that you can play regardless of who it is that you're up against. And, you know, we expect to come out with a win, but obviously we need to go out and take care of business and, you know, play the game. And everybody's available, right? Yeah, yeah, we're back to having everybody available. Um, obviously, senior night, you'll probably see a lot of seniors on the court and, and a lot of time for them, but uh, whatever we need to do to win. Good luck tonight, Coach. Thank you. Yeah, it's Coach Chris uh, Swanson. Pretty successful program. He, he alluded to the potential tiebreaker. Uh, kind of a complicated thing. Uh, Black Hills has to beat Rochester, force a three-way tie. If that happens tonight, We'd be back in this building tomorrow for a, a playoff game with, between Shelton and Rochester. Then the winner of that game would play Monday against uh, Black Hills to decide that. Has that before. time been announced? It tomorrow? has not. Um, we'll get, I, I couldn't tell you. I would imagine it's at 6 or 7 o'clock to start. We'll have more. We'll know more by the morning. Okay. So, anyways, we got to take a break. We'll be back. We've got senior recognition coming up on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. This changes everything. Next TV is here. It's the full featured digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by fast, reliable hood canal fiber internet. Record your favorites on a cloud DVR, then watch from anywhere. Pause and rewind live TV, restart or replay shows you've missed, and more. Call or click hcc.net for a special offer on Next TV today. With every load secured, every cigarette butt that doesn't go out the window, every fast food bag that arrives at its proper destination, and every time we politely say, hey, there's a better place for that, Washington gets a little cleaner, a little safer, a little more breathtaking. Because small choices add up to a home we can all be proud of. We keep Washington litter free. Worried about your friend, but don't know how to reach out? You can say, how are you? Or get a fake tattoo. You can ask with the app if it works for you. You can chat with them in VR. It's all good if you think you should check in. Yeah, you should. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Reach out to a friend about their mental health. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Learn how you can help at SeizeTheAwkward.org. And we're back here in the Mini Dome. Just in time for senior recognition, we will turn things over to uh, the PA announcer here, I'm assuming, as we're going to get into the senior recognition. Good evening, my fans, and welcome to the 2023 Girls Basketball Senior Night here at Terry Craig Court. At this time, we would like to recognize our senior basketball players and their parents.
And we're just waiting for them to start the ceremony. Starting off with our first senior of the evening, our foreign exchange student, number 20, Magdalena Ronson. She's here for the next class, Josh and Stacey Stanley. Magdalena plans to return to her home in the Czech Republic and graduate from high school. Number 20, Magdalena Vondrusova. <laughs> Up next, senior number 23, Raquel Ruiz. <laughs> Raquel is here to participate in the National Board. After high school, Raquel plans to attend the university and become a dermatologist. I should say, Mom and Dad, and a few others. <laughs> Number 23, Raquel Ruiz. <laughs> Our next senior, Number 20, Rosa Francisco. <laughs> Rosa's here with her parents, Gaspar Francisco, and Manuel Zacharias, and also a few others. After high school, Rosa plans to attend university to become a pediatric nurse. Number 20, Rosa Francisco. <laughs> Next senior, number two, Liv Henry. <laughs> Liv is here with her parents, Chrissy and Tyson Henry. After high school, Liv plans to attend college and participate in track and field. While earning a degree in nursing. Number two, Liv Henry. <laughs> Next senior, number 21, Gabby Monroe. <laughs> Gabby is here with her parents, her dad, Jay Monroe, her bonus mom, Dusty, her mom, Lynn Kitty, and her bonus dad, Chuck. After high school, Gabby plans to earn her wildlife fire card, sorry, wildland fire card, attend fire academy, and become a firefighter or an EMT. Number 21, Gabby Monroe. Our next senior, number 33, Sister Cordova. the uh, seniors for the climbers here Jerry we've had the honor to cover these young ladies we have for several years now and they've been uh, they're hard workers are dedicated to the program they've made a lot of progress this year very pleased all right we're gonna take another time out we'll be back Jerry has some keys to the game all coming up next
Mason Health wants you to stay healthy. Are you turning 65? Mason Health can help you maximize all that Medicare has to offer. Did you know Medicare covers preventive services under the Medicare Wellness Program? Medicare coverage includes screenings for depression, diabetes, obesity, and alcohol misuse. You can also get mammograms, pap smears, pelvic exams, and more. Talk to your health care provider, or you can find more information on masongeneral.com. Mason Health wants you to stay healthy. Are you turning six? Hood Canal Communications keeps our community connected. We provide communication services that connect friends and family. We're connecting with our neighbors through support of local causes and events. Connecting our students and schools to a world of learning resources. And connecting you to the latest technology with local customer service. Learn more about our community connections, high-speed internet, and streaming TV options. Visit hcc.net today. Unlike other health concerns, mental illness is not always easy to see. D E P R. Mental illness doesn't show up on a scale. Bipolar? Sorting out a mental health concern takes professional diagnosis and treatment. Anxiety. I thought so. If you or a loved one has a mental health concern, don't go it alone. For 24 hour free and confidential information and treatment referral, call 1 800 662 HELP. Learn more at SAMHSA.gov slash support. And we're back here in the Mini Dome. Deidre Callen, Jerry Apple. Jerry, uh, just ahead of Centralia and uh, Shelton girls. Got some keys to the game for us? Yeah, I do. For Shelton, I'd like to see him make 70% of their foul shots. And that is the most important thing is making those one-on-ones, especially at the end of the first and second half. Keep it down to 15 turnovers or less. Use the backboard on the inside shots. Square up when you're inside. Use that backboard. Inside, outside game. What I mean by that, throw it inside, let that person post up, look for the shot. If they don't have it, pass it back out, maybe take the three. Um, I think the thing, too, I'd like to see a couple threes out of Olivia, Danica, sister, and Cedar. So those, I think, are the keys. And control the tempo, as we always say. Keys to the game from Jerry Apple. We'll take another timeout. We'll be back with starting lineups okay. here on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. Hi, folks. Deidre Callen with Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, your source for live high school sports with play by play. Once again, Mason Web TV is broadcasting select games every week this school year football, basketball, baseball, softball. We bring you all the action from the kickoff to the final whistle, from the tip off to the final buzzer, from the first pitch to the last out. Watch how it happens on Mason Web TV powered by HCC. Business owners, you can get in on the action as well. Go online, email, call, or text right now to find out how. An important safety reminder from Mason PUD3. Please never touch a downed power line. If a power line falls on your vehicle, stay inside and call 911. Tell others to stay back. Wait for emergency personnel. Never touch anyone or anything in contact with a downed power line. Always stay at least 100 feet away. Never use an object to move a downed wire. Don't remove trees or limbs near a downed line. Electricity travels through ground, trees, branches, and more. It's not safe. If you see a downed line, call PUD3 at 360-426-8255. We're back here in the mini dome. I think we're. I don't think we can get through the starting lineups before we get to the uh, national anthem, Jerry. So uh, we'll just pause for a moment because I know you have something else to say other than the starters. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, I I, th I really feel optimistic in tonight's game. I feel like the girls are going to do well. Uh, I just got that feeling, you know. Okay. Well, though, they're about ready to. Get the band tuned up to do the national anthem. We will step aside while they do that, and we'll be back with those starting five in just a moment.
Mason Health wants you to stay healthy. Are you turning 65? Mason Health can help you maximize all that Medicare has to offer. Did you know Medicare covers preventive services under the Medicare Wellness Program? Medicare coverage includes screenings for depression, diabetes, obesity, and alcohol misuse. You can also get mammograms, pap smears, pelvic exams, and more. Talk to your health care provider, or you can find more information on masongeneral.com. Hood Canal Communications keeps our community connected. We provide communication services that connect friends and family. We're connecting with our neighbors through support of local causes and events. Connecting our students and schools to a world of learning resources. And connecting you to the latest technology with local customer service. Learn more about our community connections, high-speed internet, and streaming TV options. Visit hcc.net today. We all depend on them for medical emergencies, to keep our highways safe, and to get back on the road. And emergency responders depend on us to watch for them, to slow down and move over. We do it for the people out there taking the risks while helping others, and the people who care about them. Because most of us agree that we all share a responsibility for safety on our roads. Nice job by the Shelton High School band. What a crowd hey. tonight. Yeah, we do. We're back here at the Mini Dome. Time to get to the starting five. All right. And Jerry, uh, hold on a second here. Whenever you're ready, sir, go ahead. I'm ready. Uh, for the Centurion Tigers, under the direction of Coach Austin Danielson, at one guard, a junior, number one, Gracie Schofield. At the other guard, a freshman, number two, Brooklyn Spray. At one forward, Liliana Babka, a senior, number four. At the other forward, number 11, a senior, Maggie Island. And rounding out the starting lineup for the Tigers is Cassandra Ritchie. She is a senior, she is number three. That's your starters for the Tigers. Now your starters for the high climbers. Under the direction of Coach Chris Swanson. At one guard, a senior, number two, Olivia Henry. At the other guard, a senior, uh, number 23, Raquel Ruiz. At one forward, number 11, a senior, Danica Squire. The other forward is number 33, a senior, Didemus Cordoba. And rounding out the starting lineup for the high climbers, at center, a senior, Gabby Monroe. I'm gonna turn off the lights on us already, Jerry. <laughs> We're getting the uh, high climbers uh, to be announced here. We're glad we got through that before uh, before they change things up on us. We will take a timeout <laughs> and we'll be back with the uh, tip off of this ball game between uh, Shelton and Centralia in just we a moment here on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. This changes everything. Next TV is here. It's the full-featured digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by fast, reliable Hood Canal Fiber Internet. Record your favorites on a cloud DVR, then watch from anywhere. Pause and rewind live TV, restart or replay shows you've missed, and more. Call or click hcc.net for a special offer on Next TV today. Kids will be kids, which just goes to say, kids will be curious. They get into everything, everything. If there's a loaded firearm in the house, they could get their hands on that too. Keeping firearms locked, unloaded, and stored separately from ammunition in a place inaccessible to kids can help keep your loved ones safe from family fire. Safe gun storage saves lives. Waiting for the tip off here between the Centralia Tigers and the Shelton Lady High Climbers. It looks like Monroe will meet up. I'm thinking that's number 11, isn't it? In the center circle, I can't see, she won't turn her. I'm wrong. 
Yes. It's actually three. That will be uh, Richie. So the tip is won by the High Climbers, and uh, quickly going to the hoop is Liv Henry. Oh, popped out. Rebound tapped out and controlled by uh, Eland. And she'll get it center of the court. And here's Sprague. Handed off to Schofield. Side of the paint and a steal. Sister Cordova comes up with it. Here's uh, Raquel Ruiz. Set the offense for the high climbers. Their second to possession here early on. Henry into the corner to Cordova. Sister looks it around, gives it to Monroe. Monroe right to the hoop, puts it up in, and the foul. Gabby getting started early, Jerry. That's what you like to see. Nice pass by uh, Didemus Cordova. Beautiful assist. Bounce pass in there. So at the free, fr free throw line for possible three-point play is Gabby Monroe. And what I've watched with uh, Gabby, she take her it takes her time at the free throw line. She usually makes it. Just like that. Is she listening to me this time? No. So it's a 3 nothing ball game early. Here is uh, Schofield. Actually, no, this is Spray getting fouled in the backcourt by uh, Ruiz, her first. First to whistle on the high climbers. 7.20 to go first quarter. 3 nothing. Shelton with an early lead. Here comes Schofield. Now this is Schofield. Over it goes to Elin. High post feed to Bobka. Out it goes to Schofield for three. No. Rebound tracked down by Elin. And nearly another steal, but they're going to get uh, Ruiz for her second personal foul. Raquel just doesn't give up on anything, does she, Derry? She no, plays, she doesn't. She plays 120% from the but time she's She's got to play smart now. She's got two <laughs> fouls on her. Sideline inbounds for the uh, Tigers. Elin will get it in to Schofield. Actually, that's Sprague. Yeah, can't be those two you know, mixed up. Here is Elin. High post feed to uh, Babka. Out it goes. Three on the way by Elin. That's off. Rebound out it goes. Another uh, second chance for the Tigers. Elin, high post feed. Turn and shoot by Richie. That's off. And now Sister Cordova grabs a rebound and hands it off to Danica Squire. Here come the high climbers. Quickly up to Ruiz. Raquel tried to get it uh, thrown down low. It's stolen away by Sprague. No, I'm sorry. That one, that's, yeah, that's Sprague. Now here's Schofield. Down it goes to Babka. Babka under the basket. Nearly tied up by, uh, <laughs> ooh, nearly tied up by Squire. And the outlet goes out. And uh, Raquel picked up her third personal foul right there, trying to go after that ball. And here comes uh, Cedar Wiley. Up off the high climber bench to get uh, Raquel. So it's uh, Henry, Squire, Cordova, Monroe, and Wiley on the court for the high climbers. Sideline inbounds for the Tigers. Eland will uh, trigger the play. Right in amongst the cheerleaders for the high climbers below us. She'll get it in to Sprague. Looking for the high post is a double high post. Now get it down to the low post, and that's Babka. Nice pass in the middle. Can't uh, nice double team and good collapsing defense. And here is uh, Richie again. Draws a triple team. Goes to the floor. Jump ball called. That'll stay with the uh, Tigers. 6:01 to go, first quarter. Three nothing. Shelton with the lead. Centralia with the ball here early. Baseline inbounds. Sprague will get it in, and there is an offensive foul on the Tigers. And on uh, Bobka, that's her first. First team foul on the Tigers. Here's Danica Squire with the ball between the circles. Over to the far side, Cordova. Down it goes to Monroe. Right to the hoop, puts it up, misses a shot, but drew the foul, and uh, Gabby back to the free throw line. Gabby has all three points so far tonight for the high climbers. Richie picked up her uh, first. That's actually going to be the third team foul on, should be the third. Monroe's first free throw spins in. She'll get another one. Yeah, I have three fouls on uh, Centralia, too. Yeah, uh, three team fouls. Substitution, we will uh, give you that for the Tigers. Second free throw. 
for Monroe. It's up and in. Yeah, three for three from the foul line. Good job, Gabby. So Emily Wilkinson is the new player for the Tigers. And Babka gets it to Wilkinson, and she's going to turn it over on the travel. Not uh, quite sure what to do there. It'll be high climber ball in the backcourt. Climbers lead five to nothing. Three, third turnover for the Centralia Tigers. Henry will uh, get the ball inbounds and hand it back to Squire. Danica crossing midcourt with the dribble. Over to the far side it goes to uh, Cordova. Sister will put it on the floor, get it back to Danica. Over to Liv. Liv will take a three from the elbow. That's short. Rebound right into the hands of Schofield. And she'll bring it up center of the court. Swing it over to far side. There is Sprague driving baseline. Pull up jumper there. No, but the foul is called on the high climbers. That'll go on Cordova. That'll be her first. And the fourth team foul. At the free throw line will be Brooklyn Sprague for Centralia. Try to put some points on the board for the Tigers. She got the first one, she'll get another one. 5.15 to go in the first quarter. Second free throw on the way for Sprague. In and out, rebound tapped out, and Monroe will track it down for the high climbers. Hand it off to Squire. Here they come, Shelton. Slowing the pace down, they lead him by four, five to one. Here's Wiley on the outside. Near steal, knocked into the backcourt. Cordova goes to get it 10 on the shot clock now. The high climbers need to get busy. Here is Squire down to Monroe. Monroe throws it out to Henry. Henry fakes the three, puts it down on the floor, drives to the hoop, put it up short. Rebound pulled down by Babka. So we'll get it to Sprague, and here comes Brooklyn. Quick pass down low to... Uh, Wilkerson, her hook falls off. Wiley with the rebound. And here comes Liv Henry at the far sideline. Squire with it. One hands it over to Wiley. Into the corner to Cordova. Sister will throw it up top. And here is Liv Henry. Over to Danica Squire. She'll take the three. That's in. Count it for Danica. And it is a seven point lead for the High Climbers, eight to one, 404. Well, actually, four minutes to go here, first quarter. Quick pass down to Richie. Richie tried to split the double team, goes to the floor, has it out, and here's a three at Sprague at the top. Count it. Brooklyn Sprague with uh, all four of the Tigers' points. Here's Danica Squire with the ball, 340 to go, first quarter, eight to four to score. In the corner to Wiley. Up top it goes to Cordova. Sister will get it over to the far side. No look pass down low to Monroe. Out it comes to Cordova. She'll take a three. That's a little off. Liv Henry tried to save it. Out of bounds it goes. It will be Tiger ball. Who do we have checking in here, Jerry? It's going to be number 21. That is uh, Aubrey... Uh, is it Boyntonis? Boyntonis. 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 Okay. And there's a uh, steal by the high climbers. Quick pass over to Liv Henry. Bump, but no foul. Cross court it goes to Squire. Quick tap fast and to uh, Wiley. Wiley tried to get it to Monroe, and the paint stolen away by uh, Wilkerson. Here come the Tigers. Three minutes to go, first quarter. Schofield with it to Babka. Back to Schofield to take a three from the elbow. That's off the back of the iron. Wiley saved it in bounds, goes right into the hands. Oh, nice steal uh, by Olivia. Steal in. Here comes uh, Liv Henry on a one on two, scoops it up, comes up short, and the rebound's controlled by Babka. Here comes Sprague. Gonna be forced out of bounds. And they're gonna get Liv with her first foul. Fifth team foul on the high climbers. 2.30 to go first quarter. Eight to four is the score. Sideline front court inbounds. Babka gets it into Sprague. Brooklyn at the top of the key. Over goes to Schofield. Here's Babka. Into the far corner it goes to Sprague. Brooklyn tries to drive baseline, nearly stolen away. Gets it out to Schofield. 14 on the shot clock. Down it goes to Wilkerson. Missed the shot. Rebound goes to uh, Monroe. 
Actually, that was Beitenbus with the shot. Here is Cordova driving. Runner, no. Rebound, Babka. And here's Richie. Actually, that is Schofield. Back to Sprague. Sprague drives baseline, pull-up jumper blocked by Wiley, but it's going to be called with a foul. That's Cedar's first sixth team foul. And that sends Brooklyn Sprague to the free throw line again where she's one for two. She has four points so far tonight. She has all four of the uh, Tigers' points. Looks like uh, Jasmine Rivera is getting ready to step back onto the court. Here's uh, Sprague's first free throw. That one rattles in. Here comes Rivera. Three. Yeah, here comes Rivera. And Richie returns for the uh, Tigers. 1.43 to go, first quarter, 8-5 to five now. Sprague's second free throw goes in. Yeah, she's 3 for 4 from the foul line. Two-point lead for the high climbers, 8-6. to six. Here's Danica Squire, center of the court. Lob it over to Henry. Liv, going to put it on the floor. And it goes to Sister Cordova, pull-up jumper on the baseline. Nice, nice shot. Nice little swish there, and that gives the uh, High Climbers a four-point lead, 10-6. to six. That's her first two points. Here's Wilkerson. Up it goes to Schofield. Schofield lobs it over the head to Babka. Babka missed his shot. Rebound poked into the hands of Wilkerson, and she missed it. Rebound goes to Squire for Shelton. Approaching a minute to go here in the first here is Rivera. Jazz will hand it off. And nearly stolen away. It's kicked out of bounds. I'm going to say that went off of Wilkerson's foot out of bounds. It'll be high climber ball in the front court. Right between the scorer's table and the bench. Under a minute to go here first quarter. Four point lead for the high climbers. Here's Cordova. Holds the ball overhead. Cross court. It goes to Liv Henry. Henry will take the three. That's off. Rebound tapped and controlled by... Uh, Cordova, she missed the putback, but she's going to get two free throws. Her sister. Richie picked up her first. Maybe the fourth team foul. So Cordova's at the free throw line, try to extend this high climber lead. 47.4 seconds remain in the first. Cordova off the back of the iron, she get another one. Maggie Island will step back onto the court for the uh, for the Tigers. Second free throw by Cordova. That goes in. Give her three points, and the lead is up to uh, five. 11 to six. Here is Schofield over to Island. She'll pull up on the jumper. No. Rebound pulled down with two <laughs> hands hugged by Squire. Danica spin out of the trouble and bring it up the court. Throws it up to Monroe. Out it goes to Cordova for three. No. Ooh. Up over the backboard, out of bounds. 28.3 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. 11 to 6 is the score. Shelton with the lead. Centralia with the ball. Full court press shown by the high climbers. Inbounds goes to Stray. 2 2 1 press. Here comes Wilkerson. Wilkerson up it goes to Island. Finds Richie. I'm sorry, Babka. Babka. There's Schofield with a three at the top. Missed their shot. Rebound goes to Rivera. She's going to pull it away and s bounce it over to uh, Squire. Nine seconds to go. Quickly up to Cordova. Out to Liv Henry. Henry drives to the foul line. Runner in the paint and short. Rebound goes to Wilkerson. And we're through one quarter. Shelton up 11 to 6 after one. We'll be right back. Hood Canal Communications keeps our community connected. We provide communication services that connect friends and family. We're connecting with our neighbors through support of local causes and events. Connecting our students and schools to a world of learning resources. And connecting you to the latest technology with local customer service. Learn more about our community connections, high-speed internet, and streaming TV options. Visit hcc.net today. Waiting for the start of the second quarter. 11 for Shelton, 6 for Centralia. 
Tigers will have the ball coming out of the timeout between, between quarters. And Gabby Monroe is the leading scorer with five points, and she's made all three of her foul shots. And all six points by the Tigers by Brooklyn Sprague. Yeah. So climbers will come out with Ruiz, Pinion, Monroe, with Sister Cordova, and Rivera. The uh, Tigers counter with Wilkerson, Richie, Babka, uh, Sprague, and Schofield. Actually, it's going to be high climber ball. Pardon me. They had to start the quarter. Here's Monroe spinning in the paint, puts it up short. Rebound goes to uh, Babka. No, that's, I, I'm sorry, Island is in there, not Babka. And here comes Sprague. She'll hand it off to Island. Oh, actually, it's going to be to Schofield. Here is Babka. Up top it goes to uh, Sprague. To Island and around the horn it goes. Back to Schofield for three. That's off. Battling for the rebound is Wilkerson. Missed the shot. Rebound pulled down by uh, Babka, and she stepped on the baseline, so it's a turnover. In Anna Pinion. sixth of the game for the In Anna Pinion. Tigers. Anna Pinion breaks the ball up, or right, she gets it to uh, Ruiz. Over to Pinion. And it's Sister Cordova. Here's Anna for a three. Open and in. And Pinion with the three is a 14 to six lead. And a foul up court by Pinion. That'll be uh, her first. Seventh team foul. That climber's up eight. That's their largest of the night so far. So Wiley steps back onto the court for the high climbers. Monroe will, will sit down at the free throw line for the first of a one and one is Sprague. She missed the first one. Rebound went to Wiley, and here come the high climbers. Ruiz back in there between the circles. Going to split the double team, go right down the lane to the hoop, miss the shot, rebound tracked down by Ruiz. She'll pull up and she'll hit, put a jumper up there that's short, and the rebound pulled down by Island. Here's Wilkerson up to Schofield. Trying to get it down low, and she'll reset to Island. Opposite side, Sprague. Here is Schofield. Into the corner now is Island. Down to Wilkerson. Nice spin move. Turnaround jumper falls off. Rebound tapped and controlled by Wiley. She'll get it to Ruiz. And here come the high climbers leading 14 to 6. Rivera, nice, pass. nice give and go to Sister Cordova up and in. That was a very nice pass by uh, Jasmine. Rivera. Ten point lead for the high climbers now. There's a foul at midcourt on the climbers, and that'll be on Jazz Rivera, I believe. Yep, that went on Jazz Rivera, her first. Eighth team foul, and that will send uh, Gracie Schofield to the free throw line for the front end of a one and one as Henry and Squire return for the high climbers. First free throw up and in. So that is the first point scored by anybody but uh, Brooklyn Sprague here for the Centralia Tigers. Second free throw. That's good as well. It's eight point lead for the high climbers. 5.50 to go in the first half. Danica Squire swings it over to uh, Raquel Ruiz. Cross court it goes to Anna Pinon. Up top to uh, Oh, a little inside-out game. Here's uh, Ruiz for three. That's off. Rebound stolen away by uh, Henry. Henry turns to the three-point arc, gets it to Pinion. Back to uh, Henry, to Anna. Anna takes another three. That's off. Rebound tapped and controlled. Actually saved in bounds by Island, but uh, Pinion right there nearly knocked it out. I like that inside-outside uh, game uh, that they displayed there. That was very good, Diedrich, by Shelton. 524 to go in the half. 16 to 8 is our score. Here comes Sprague. Bumps bodies, gets it up the sidelines. And a turnaround jumper by Babka is off. Wiley with another rebound. Out it goes to Liv Henry. Biting bus is back in there for Centralia. Here is a wide open three for Shelton's uh, Ruiz. That rattles in and out. Henry with the rebound and the putback. 
Liv Henry with her first point of the game and pushes the lead back to 10, 18 to 8. 450 to go in the half and a steal at midcourt. Danica Squire gets it to Anna Pinion. Anna's going to drive to the baseline, stop, and it poked out of her hand by Babka. Here comes Sister Cordova. And uh, Emily Wilkerson returns for Centralia. Giving Libby a little break here. So that both the 33s are back in there. Inbounds goes to Wiley. Wiley out to Cordova. Quick pass over to Ruiz. Now back to uh, Squire. Donna goes to Wiley. One dribble to the hoop. Put it up, and it dropped in. Cedar Wiley with her first points. I like that. She used that backboard. Nice shot. It's a 12-point lead for the high climbers, 20 to 8. Here is Sprague. Going to draw the foul on Cordova, I believe. His uh, sister was the only one there. Waiting for the referee to call it. Yeah. Jerry's right. Second. Well, I like what you're doing. You, you're you waiting for the official. Good job. Then well, that'll put to Brooklyn Sprague at the free throw line. For the first of a one and one, in and out on the first one. And that will be a rebound by Sister Cordova. Here comes Danica Squire, 4.18 to go here in the in the half. Quick pass down low is deflected off of Cedar Wiley. They say it went off of uh, Wilkerson out of bounds. So it'll be hot climber ball. Baseline inbounds right of the backboard. Lob it in to Wiley. Wiley drives side of the paint, forces one up there. Missed the shot, but drew the foul. I think that's going to go on Emily Wilkerson. I think that's a 33, Jerry. Fifth, uh, or actually sixth, the team foul on the Tigers and Cedar Wiley at the free throw line. First one goes in. Converse styles, Jerry, uh, between uh, Gabby Monroe and Cedar Wiley. Gabby takes her time at the free throw line. Wiley's just really quick on the on the shot. Got them both. Well, the nice thing is they're six for seven from the foul line, so they're reaching a couple of my goals. They have very few turnovers, the high climbers, so that's uh, the other plus. We have a full timeout called, 4-10 to go in the first half. 22-8 to eight is our score. We'll be right back. You know you don't have to wear your PT gear anymore, right? It's comfortable. So how's civilian life treating you? It's fine. When I got out, I didn't want to admit that there was anything wrong because it felt like a failure. And then I realized, like, there's nothing to be ashamed of. So I started talking to someone. Maybe you are fine, but if you're not, it's okay. Thank you. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. And we're back here in the mini dome. 22 to 8 of score, the largest lead of the night yeah, so far for the high climbers. Yeah, 14 points, yeah. 14 point difference. It'll be Centralia Ball coming out of the timeout. I like what the band uh, leader there is doing. Trying to get the wave going down yeah, below. Yeah, just guess. getting the crowd going. That's great. Gabby Monroe back in there for Cedar Wiley for the high climbers. As I mentioned, uh, Centralia has the ball coming out of the timeout. Here's Sprague over near side to uh, bite to miss. Down it goes to Wilkerson there, and she has the ball stolen away by uh, uh, Sister Cordova. Here comes Danica Squire. Near side to Liv Henry, looking low for Monroe. Gets it back out top and gets it back. And Liv's gonna drive down the lane with a scoop and miss the shot, but Liv will head to the free throw line. Yeah, Olivia wasn't out very long. Maybe. 20 seconds? Yeah. Well, Liliana Babka picked up her second personal foul. That's the seventh to 10 foul for the Tigers. And Liv Henry's at the free throw line for two. She got the first one. She got another one. She has three points so far? Yep. Schofield returns. And Richie's back in there for Centralia. Second free throw on the way for Henry. It goes in, nothing but net. She increases that lead. It's now up to 16. It's near steal as Island tried to force a pass over Henry. Now up top to uh, Schofield. Back over to Island. Down to the baseline. Pull up jumper by Richie is off, and the rebound goes to Squire. 
3.20 to go in the half. 24 to 8 is the score. High Climbers with the lead in the ball. Here's Squire. Over to Ruiz, who's back in there. Down it goes to uh, Monroe. Gabby will throw it out. And a quick Good pass throw. down to Ruiz. Out to Henry. Henry for three. That's oh, nothing oh. but net for Liv. That's nice passing, three. huh, Didrick? And here comes uh, Schofield. Over to Island. And errant pass. Liv Henry with the steal. Had it slapped out of bounds by Island. And there are the high climbers again. They're up 19, 27 to 8, 250 to go in the first half. Here's Ruiz with it between the, well, right in the middle of the court. Now she works her way to between the circles. Stops and bounces it over to the near side into the corner. Now it's Cordova back to Ruiz. Going to take an open three. Missed the shot. Rebound goes to Wilkerson. So hand it off to Schofield, and Gracie will bring it up. Over goes to Island, back to Schofield. Near side now to uh, Bytemus, Bytem Boss. And here is Schofield again, Bytem Boss with it. One dribble back over to Island, Island for three, that's off the glass, no, Monroe with the rebound. And here comes Danica Squire. Approaching 2.05 to go here in the half. Quickly to Ruiz on the baseline. Out it goes to Cordova. She'll take that three to the elbow. That's off. Rebound slapped right into the hands of Monroe. She puts one dribble up there. Missed the shot. And the rebound goes to Squire. Kick it out to Henry. Live for three. That oh counts. Ten oh points for her on her second three-pointer. 1.45 to go in the first half. It's 30 to 8. And another steal by the high climbers. Liv Henry up to Ruiz. Raquel to the hoop and scores it. That's Raquel's first basket and it's 32 to eight. Minute and a half to go in the first half. Here's Schofield, bounces it over to Bite, but to Boss back to Schofield. Over to Island and here's Schofield again. Back to Island, she'll take a long two. Missed it with Wilkerson right there for the putback though. Went right into her hands. Emily Wilkerson with uh, the basket and it's 32 to 10 now. Here's Henry, far side. Can dribble out and reset for the high climbers. One handed down to Monroe. Gabby will kick it back. Here's a three by Henry that's off the back of the iron. Sister Cordova tracks it down, saves it in bounds. Nope, she had her foot on the sideline. And it'll be Tiger ball. That's only the third turnover. Okay. I can't believe it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, maybe I'm uh, Yeah, I think you're right, Jerry. I they haven't, haven't seen not much. Had many. Kyan Miller steps back on or steps on for the first time tonight for the High Climbers and Jasmine Rivera is in there for the first time and another steal by the High Climbers. Ruiz gets it up to Henry. Henry to the three-point arc. Stops and surveys the scene to finds Miller. Here's a Ruiz for three. No. Rebound goes to uh, Rivera. Out it goes to Henry. To Ruiz. Cross court to Squire. Back to Ruiz up top. About a six second difference between game and shot clock. Here is Henry for three. That's off. She fell down. No whistle. Rebound goes in the hand of Richie. Hand it off to Schofield. Actually, no, this is uh, Sprague. However, goes Schofield. Three on the way and short. Rebound Miller. Hand it off to, to Henry. And Olivia has five seconds to work. She's going to stop between the circles and take a three. Yep, she will. There it is. Short and the buzzer sounds. But we're at halftime. Shelton High Climbers all over. The, uh, the Centralia Tigers, 32 to 10 at the break. We'll be right back with Mason Webb. This is Mason Webb TV powered by HCC. An important safety reminder from Mason PUD3. Please never touch a downed power line. If a power line falls on your vehicle, stay inside and call 911. Tell others to stay back. Wait for emergency personnel. Never touch anyone or anything in contact with a downed power line. Always stay at least 100 feet away. Never use an object to move a downed wire. Don't remove trees or limbs near a downed line. Electricity travels through ground, trees, branches, and more. It's not safe. If you see a downed line, call PUD3 at 360-426-8255. This changes everything. Next TV is here. Is the full-featured digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by fast, reliable Hood Canal Fiber Internet. Record your favorites on a cloud DVR. 
Then watch from anywhere. Pause and rewind live TV. Restart or replay shows you've missed and more. Call or click hcc.net for a special offer on Next TV today. Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! This broadcast on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, is being made possible by Hood Canal Communications, committed to providing quality services that exceed customer expectations in voice, video, data, and customer service, keeping our community connected since 1934. Mason PUD3, connecting our community with safe, reliable, economical, and sustainable services 24-7. And Mason Health, united community, empowered people, exceptional health. Well, it's halftime here in the Mini Dome. Shelton 32, Centralia 10. High climbers are being led by uh, Olivia Liv Henry with 10 points all in the second quarter. You've got five for Sister Cordoba, five for Gabby Monroe, four for Cedar Wiley, uh, three for Anna Pinion, and uh, three for Danica Squire. I'm sorry, yeah, Danica Squire, that's right. And a, a basket for Raquel Ruiz. For the uh, Tigers, their leading scorer is uh, Brook, uh, Brooklyn Sprague with a six. A basket for Emily Wilkerson and a uh, two free throws actually for Gracie Schofield. That's the, uh, that's the situation we have here for the scoring. We'll have some more statistics in just a moment from Jerry Apple and Daryl White. We'll be back with those in just a moment. Mason Health wants you to stay healthy. Are you turning 65? Mason Health can help you maximize all that Medicare has to offer. Did you know Medicare covers preventive services under the Medicare Wellness Program? Medicare coverage includes screenings for depression, diabetes, obesity, and alcohol misuse. You can also get mammograms, pap smears, pelvic exams, and more. Talk to your health care provider, or you can find more information on masongeneral.com. This changes everything. Next TV is here. It's the full featured digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by fast, reliable Hood Canal Fiber Internet. Record your favorites on a cloud DVR, then watch from anywhere. Pause and rewind live TV. Restart or replay shows you've missed and more. Call or click hcc.net for a special offer on Next TV today. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. Hood Canal Communications keeps our community connected. We provide communication services that connect friends and family. We're connecting with our neighbors through support of local causes and events. Connecting our students and schools to a world of learning resources. And connecting you to the latest technology with local customer service. 
Learn more about our community connections, high-speed internet, and streaming TV options. Visit hcc.net today. And we're back here in the Mini Dome halftime score. Shelton 32, Centralia 10 as the uh, senior band members are being honored here in the Mini Dome on Greg Court. And back to the game here, Jerry has some more statistics. Well, let's start with Centralia. Uh, Centralia is five for eight from the foul line. The problem is they've had 13 assists, uh, turnovers, 13 turnovers. That's not good. They are two for 19 from the field. 12%. The other thing is Shelton has eight assists. Centralia has one. Hmm. So note that two things. The number of turnovers by Centralia and the number of assists by the high climbers. There's your difference. Now for the high climbers. They're eight for nine. They've reached my goal. They are, they've only had three turnovers. That's great. Right, yeah. And uh, they are 10 for 37 from the field for 27%. Shelton has 21 rebounds, eight assists. There are leaders. The leader, leading rebounder is uh, uh, Cedar uh, Wiley with five rebounds. And the leading assist person is Olivia Henry with three assists. Centralia has 16 rebounds, only one assist. Their leader is uh, Elam. Um, she has uh, five rebounds, and she also leads the team in assist with one. Okay. Well, we have a third quarter and a second half to get to. We'll get to that in just a couple minutes. Uh, this is Mason Webb TV, powered by HCC. Back with the third in a moment. Hi, folks. Steve McAllen with Mason Webb TV, powered by HCC, your source for live high school sports with play-by-play. -play. Once again, Mason Webb TV is broadcasting select games every week this school year. Football, basketball, baseball, softball. We bring you all the action from the kickoff to the final whistle, from the tip off to the final buzzer, from the first pitch to the last out. Watch how it happens on Mason Web TV powered by HCC. Business owners, you can get in on the action as well. Go online, email, call, or text right now to find out how. At the U.S. Center for Safe Sport, we see champions everywhere we look. In every sport, on every court, we're building a foundation to ensure all athletes are safe, supported, and strengthened. At the U.S. Center for Safe Sport, ending abuse is not just our job. It's our promise. This broadcast is copyright protected by DigiProof on behalf of Diedrich Allen and Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, and is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of its contents, pictures, descriptions, and accounts without the consent of Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, MasonWebTV.com, and Hood Canal Communications is prohibited. Oh, the band is having too much fun, Jerry. Tedrick, I you got to love that enthusiasm. I, it's just great. You can't beat a Friday night watching a good basketball game and listening to the band and the cheerleaders. And what a great crowd tonight. Yeah. It's, you know, we were trying to compare it to our last uh, game with the boys on Tuesday, and it's pretty much even now. Yeah, I'd even is. be more here <laughs> than on the boys' game. So the uh, Tigers will start the third quarter with the ball. They're trailing 32-10. to 10. They have Schofield, uh, Sprague, Eland, uh, Ritchie, and the Babka. As they're, they're trying to find some... Uh, some place to go with the ball around the perimeter. Yeah, the high climbers are in a 2-3 zone. And here is Sprague with a pull-up jumper on the baseline that goes in. And Brooklyn Sprague has eight of the 12 points by the Tigers. Here comes Ruiz to Henry, Cordova, Squire, and Monroe on there. Here is Sister Cordova back to uh, Ruiz. High post feed to uh, Monroe. Out it goes to Henry. Opposite side now, looking low. 
Finds a flasher in the paint. That's Ruiz. Put it up. Missed it. Got her own rebound. One dribble. Fade away. Yes! Raquel Ruiz with her second basket. She did a nice job of cutting through there and getting that pass and putting it up. A little bit of full court press. And Sprague there is in the backcourt. Gets it to Richie. Richie gets the 10 count and the turnover. It's high climber ball. Good team pressure there with just two players. Forced the turnover. I like the intensity that Shelton has coming out here in the uh, uh, second half. Mikel Ruiz with it in the uh, center of the court now working to the, between the circles, looking for the high post speed. Finds Squire, down it goes to uh, Monroe. Her outlet back to Squire, stolen away by Sprague. And here come the Tigers. Hands it off to uh, Eland, over to Schofield. Foul line jumper off by Ritchie, rebound by Squire. 34 to 12 is our score, 6.20 to go third quarter. Here's Sister Cordova, three in the corner, that's off. Rebound off the foot of uh, Schofield, tracked down by Babka, and a pass in the middle of the court tied up by Raquel Ruiz and Ritchie. And I think they're going to call a foul, and Liv Henry says it was on me. It was on me. And they do. They gave it to Liv Henry, although <laughs> Raquel <laughs> Ruiz was right there in the play. And they, uh, she was that's, good. That's called, that's called teamwork. Yeah, good teamwork to get who gets the foul. As Wilkerson steps back onto the court for the Tigers, and Elon will sit down. Here's Schofield in backcourt. Another steal. Good teamwork again by Squire and Henry. Here's Ruiz, Raquel with it. Back to uh, Henry, Henry. Beyond the three-point arc, drives the paint, finds Monroe, splits the double team, goes to the hoop, puts it up, and missed the shot, rebound, tapped out, and controlled by Schofield. So hand it off to Sprague, and here come the Tigers. 5.45 to go here in the third quarter, 34 to 10. Here is Schofield. Up top to Sprague, back to Schofield. Trying to find somewhere to go to get it down low, and they're, the high climbers are defending well. Now they get it to Wilkerson. She'll uh, back out and take a long jumper, miss the shot. Rebound goes to Henry. 34 to 12. Still our score. Henry inside the three point arc finds Ruiz in the corner, had it poked out of her hands by uh, Wilkerson. It'll stay with the high climbers. Sideline inbounds. Almost near the corner, Squire will trigger the play. 19 on the shot clock. Cross court, actually up top it goes to Ruiz. Over to Cordova, quick pass into the corner to Henry. Henry drives around the defense, draws a foul on the Tigers. One thing we haven't mentioned is that uh, Raquel Ruiz is playing with three personal fouls. It'll be baseline inbounds for the high climbers. Danica Squire trigger the play left of the backboard. That was the third foul on Batka. Here's Henry. Driving down the lane with a little scoop and a score. 12 points for Liv. And she did that with such ease. And here is Sprague with a three. The answer in and out, no. Rebound goes to uh, Henry. Send it off to a Squire. High post feed to Monroe. Swings by the defense, drives down the paint, misses the shot, got the rebound. In the paint, and she'll get it out to Henry. Good hustle by Monroe. Reset of the shot clock. Here's Squire. High post feed again to Monroe. Gabby will tap it over to Ruiz. Out it goes to Henry for three. Fell down, called a foul. Missed a shot. Three free throws coming for Olivia Henry. And the foul went on Brooklyn Sprague. It's her second. Two team fouls on the Tigers. First free throw off by Henry. Looks like Wiley and uh, Ani Bailey will step on here, probably after this free throw by Henry for the high climbers. That's the second one. Should get one more. That's her 11th point? It's her 13th point. 13th, okay, sorry. Four. You're right, you're right, 12, 13, 12, 14. Maggie Island steps back onto the court for the Tigers, replacing Cassandra Ritchie. 
And Liv Henry has her the third of three free, free throws, and she rattled that uh -huh. one in and out and back in. Four for five for the foul line. And it's 38 to 12. 4.15 to go third quarter. Here's Wilkerson, no look pass down to Babka. Babka avoids the defense, puts it off the glass, and then count it, and the foul will go to Bailey. I don't know, Monty had her hands just standing there. She went around the defense, still got the foul. So Rivera will step back on, and Anna Pinon, Pinon will step on for the high climbers. Henry and Cordova will sit down. So at the free throw line for possible three-point play for Centralia, Liliana Babka. Missed the free throw, rebound. Rivera tied up Wilkerson, jump ball called. That goes over to the high climbers. 4.09 to go, third quarter, 38 to 14 is our score. Shelton with the lead in the ball. Here is Raquel Ruiz bringing the ball across the timeline. Lob it over to Pinon, to Bailey, back to Ruiz. There's Rivera around to Pinon, back to Rivera. Nice pass. Puts it up a little bit off. Rebound goes to uh, Eland. And she'll bring it across the timeline. Throws it in the middle, trying to hit Babka. Stolen away, but they're going to call Bailey with uh, her second real Ooh. quick there. Uh, interesting phantom foul there. I didn't see that. I didn't <laughs> see Something the about foul. the collision there. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't see the foul. So it'll be baseline inbounds. Babka will inbounds it, gets it in to Schofield. Out it goes to Elin, takes a three and misses it. Bailey will track down the rebound and get it to Ruiz. Here come the high climbers leading 38 to 14. Raquel Ruiz between the circles with the dribbles. Under three and a half minutes to go third quarter. Raquel with a runner at the foul line, popped out. Rebound goes to uh, Eland. She'll hand it off to Schofield. Here come the Tigers. Over to Bailey. Fakes the three, steps inside the arc. Over, uh, long two over uh, Rivera. There is a loose ball foul under the basket on the rebound. And that'll go on Bailey. That's her third. So we have uh, okay. 12. So Rosa... Francisco Zacharias is in for the high climbers. Liv Henry has returned as well. Here's Wilkerson. To Babka, actually up top is uh, Sprague now. High climbers in a 2-3 zone. Here's Eland. Nice defense. Uh, Cedar Wiley comes up with the ball. Here is uh, Olivia Henry. Stop at the three-point arc. Get it over to Rivera. Jasmine back to Henry. Swing it over to Pinon. Pinon, Pinon for three. That's oh. in. Nothing but net. And that's Anna's second three. Uh, she's got a pretty shot. Pretty shot. Missed her early in the season. She just wasn't quite uh, available. Here is a Sprague. Wilkerson blocked by Henry, but they're going to call Liv for her third personal. What have we got? Five team fouls on the high climbers. That'll pull, put Emily Wilkerson at the free throw line for two free throws. 41 to 14 is the score. 2.27 to go in the third quarter. Wilkerson short on the first free throw. She'll get another one. Aubrey Bottomus, Bottom Boss is back in there for the, <laughs> for the uh, Tigers. And we have an uh, errant. Horn for some reason. I just announced Rosa Francisco as a curious his name here. Got a big cheer from the crowd. One of the uh, JV players that uh, were brought up for this game. I guess they just wanted to let everybody know she was on the court. And That's Wilkerson, great. <laughs> Wilkerson has another free throw. Second one, that one's short, nearly rolled in. Wilkerson got the rebound, missed the shot. Rebound then poked into the hands of Island. She couldn't get the fall of the wall to fall. And here's a three on the way by Sprague that goes in. <coughs> That's 41. her second three. 
41 to 17 now the score. Liv Henry with the ball. Throws over to Rivera. Taps it to Francisco. Now here's Pinon. Down it goes to Wiley. Tapped back to, uh, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, it was a three oh by oh Anna oh Pinon. Oh. She's got me so shocked at how quick she can release, Jerry. She sure does, doesn't she? It's just she? a little tap. It's almost like she pushes it up there when she gets it near her. She's three for four from the three-point land. Here's Schofield back over to Wilkerson. Foul line jumper was off, and a foul called on the high climber. <coughs> Pardon me. That's Henry picking up her fourth personal foul and the sixth the team foul on Shelton. That puts uh, Emily Wilkerson back at the free throw line where she's 0 for 2. Only has two points, make it three. She hit that first free throw. she get another one. Here comes Danica Squire for uh, Jasmine Rivera. Going to keep Henry on the court. And Cassandra Ritchie will step back on for the Tigers, replacing Gracie Schofield. Here's Emily Wilkerson's second free throw. She got them. Got them both, Jerry. Yeah, she did. Said two she was for 0 for four. 2. Now she's 2 for 4. <laughs> she missed her first two. She hit her second two. Here's Danica Squire with a minute and a half to go in the third. Francisco for three in the corner. Oh, no oh, rebound. Cole controlled by Wilkerson. Wilkerson will hand it off to Sprague. Over to Eland. To Sprague. Back to Eland. And here is the Ritchie driving baseline. Pull up jumper, no. Rebound tapped into the hands of Wiley. And here comes Danica Squire. Over to Henry. Back to Squire. High post feed to Wiley, out to Henry. Here's a three on the way for Liv, no. Rebound to Squire. She's at the foul line, back to Henry. Liv over to Pinon. To Francisco, and unfortunately, Rosa just picked up her pivot foot a little too early there. And here comes Sister Cordova for Liv Henry. 41.1 seconds remain in the third quarter. 44 to 19 is score. Shelton with the lead, Centralia with the ball. Here's Brooklyn Sprague. Over to Babka. I'm sorry, that was Island, excuse me. Quick pass down to the baseline. Here's Richie to Wilkerson. Ball rolls into the hands of Sprague. Steps inside the arc, launches a long two. Missed it, rebound pulled down by uh, Biketon Bus. Out it goes to Wilkerson, missed the three. Rebound Wiley with 15 seconds to go, third quarter. Here's Squire with 10. Over to Francisco. Back to Squire. Oh, and a steal by Sprague. She's going to pick it up and go to the hoop. And rolled off her body out of bounds. Horn sounds the end the third. High Climbers in control here, 44 to 19. So we head to the fourth quarter. An important safety reminder from Mason PUD3. Please never touch a downed power line. If a power line falls on your vehicle, stay inside and call 911. Tell others to stay back. Wait for emergency personnel. Never touch anyone or anything in contact with a down power line. Always stay at least 100 feet away. Never use an object to move a down wire. Don't remove trees or limbs near a down line. Electricity travels through ground, trees, branches, and more. It's not safe. If you see a down line, call PUD3 at 360-426-8255. And we're waiting for the start of the fourth final quarter. 44-19, the uh, score after three quarters. It's the Centralia ball to start the uh, fourth quarter. High climbers come out with uh, Henry, Cordova, Ruiz, Monroe, and Squire. They're starters. Mm -hmm. Sasacido. Uh, is in there for the first time tonight for the Tigers, working with Schofield, Eland, uh, Babka, and Wilkerson, who took the jumper at the foul line, elbow, missed it, rebound, goes to the high climb, here comes Squire. Up it goes to Ruiz, out of her hands, out of bounds. Raquel just, oh, 
on that one as she turned around. 15 seconds into the fourth quarter, and there's a turnover. Seven turnovers for the uh, high climbers, 17 for Centralia. There's Schofield down to Babka. Babka, nice defense by Monroe. Turned around, and Schofield for three at the top. That's off the back of the iron. Rebound tapped and controlled. Uh, actually, it was uh, Babka with the putback. Missed the shot, and the rebound goes to Squire. She get it up to Henry. Henry to Ruiz, takes a three in the corner. That's short and out of bounds. I think they're looking for uh, getting uh, Raquel a three in this. <laughs> I think that's what they're looking for. 44-19, still the score. Played about 50 seconds here in the fourth. Schofield near side. Back over to uh, Ayland and the pass down to Babka out of bounds. It was another turnover on the Tigers. 7.02 to go in the ball game. 44 to 19 is our score. Shelton with the lead in the ball. Here's Danica Squire. Near side to Ruiz. Cross quarter goes to Henry. Henry ran over. Uh, <laughs> that was Babka. That's going to be Liv's uh, fifth. I think that's five on her. And she's done, but she leaves with uh, 14 points, Jerry. Yeah, she did a nice job, both defensively and offensively. She was four for five from the foul line. Pretty good overall game. Anna Pignon comes back into the ball game for Liv Henry as her night is done on her senior night. High Climbers hoping to uh, get another game tomorrow. If they win and get a little help from Black Hills to knock off Rochester, that would bring the tiebreaker here to uh, the mini dome. Wilkerson hacked and fouled by Squire. That's Danica's first. Seventh team foul, actually the eighth team foul. I missed one. On the High Climbers. That'll send uh, Emily Wilkerson to the free throw line. It's going to be two shots, right? Yep, it's two. First one goes in. She made her last three. Yep, Jerry. she has. <laughs> she got used to the mini dome uh, optics, I guess. Takes a while to get used to the, uh, the shooting in this uh, gym. Nope, missed the second one. Rebound goes to uh, Monroe. Hands it off to Ruiz. Speeds up court. Going to go right to the uh, hoop and push the shot <laughs> out there. Got her own rebound. Bounce it over to Pignon. Pignon tried to get it uh, across court to Squire. Picked off by um, Eland. And Squire ties her up. Jump ball call. That goes over to the high climbers. The Levin's going at it here, Jerry. And Sprague returns for the Tigers. Or she tries to return. They're not going to let her go. Come in. Now they'll let her come in. Schofield will sit down. High Climber leading and the ball, 44 to 20. High Climbers have yet to score here in the fourth. Almost uh, two minutes gone in the fourth. Here's Anna Pignon to Sister Cordova. She's going to be fouled by Wilkerson. That's her second. Only the second to team foul on the Tigers here in the in the half. Baseline inbounds. Monroe will get it in to Ruiz. Here's Squire. Finds Monroe. Gabby one dribble back to Pignon. Over to Ruiz for three. Oh nope, she missed it short. Rebound goes to uh, Sasacito. Sasito, that's who it is. Sasito. Here is Richie, turnaround jumper on the baseline. No, Monroe with a rebound, bounce it to uh, Ruiz. Raquel on the run. She's got a one on three. She's going to take it to the hoop, mi missed the shot, and <laughs> got it back, threw it <laughs> off the foot of uh, Wilkerson. Good hustle. Raquel Ruiz is just not getting any love by the refs here. Every time she goes to the hoop, she has to be fouled. They're not giving her the fouls. Here's an inbounds in the corner to Cordova to Squire. Danica has got the spray all over her. And a five count on Danica and the Ooh. turnover. Danica's saying, I'm being slapped all the time and no whistle. Yeah, Danica's a, a feisty. I think she's going to, she wants to be a kindergarten teacher. I think she's going to be a good one. 
Centralia has the ball. Sprague between the circles. Over to Sacito. And here is uh, Richie for a baseline jumper that goes right in the hands of uh, Cordova. Up it goes to Ruiz. Ruiz finally gets the whistle. No, it's going to be oh. a charge on Raquel. Oh, boy, that's four on Raquel. And the turnover. It didn't quite look like she had ah, position. Well, you know, a little player control. Coach Swanson's like, oh. Uh, I'm Poor with you, Chris. I think everybody's with it. Raquel just can't get any love from this refereeing crew for some reason. I don't understand. <laughs> Here's Sprague between the circles. Offer goes to Eland. High post feed again or to uh, Eland. Or I'm sorry, Wilkerson. She banks it in. And it's 44 to 22 now with five minutes, under five minutes to go here in the ball game. And she has seven points so far. Here's Squire, one hands it down to Monroe, spins by the defense, puts it off the glass and in. Gabby. Been quiet here since the first quarter, seven points. Nice job, Gabby, of using that backboard again. 46 to 22, that's the first points for the high climbers here in the quarter. Feed to Wilkerson, deflected by Squire into the hands of Pignon, and here comes Anna. Center of the court on the run. Down it goes to Monroe. One on one, goes in the paint, trying to hook it up. She got the love from the refs and Gabby's to the free throw line. And that will go on Cassandra Ritchie, her second. Fourth team foul on the Tigers. Gabby Monroe at the free throw line. Said she's been quiet since the first quarter, Jerry. Here's the first free throw. Not nah, tough. I was thinking she's three for three. Now she's three for four. <laughs> Didn't say it, but I was thinking it. Here comes Bailey. Here comes Miller for the high climbers. And she's going to make this one. Who just checked in? Oh, uh, Tanali Mendoza is in there as well for Shelton. Monroe's second free throw. That one it's goes it. in as Jerry predicted. And yeah. Gabby will sit down as. Uh, Abby Sachs will step onto the court. 4.21 to go in the ball game, 47-22. Is there a score? Shelton with the lead, Centralia with the ball. Here comes Sprague. Over it goes off the hands of Babka and Miller. Tying Miller back in. The, is that Miller? No, that's, yeah, that's Miller. Is it, yeah, nearly uh, had the steal there. Sideline inbounds, inbounds goes to Wilkerson. Catch and shoot off the glass, no. Rebound pulled down by Miller. Hands it off to Pignon, and here come the high climb. Gonna get it over to Mendoza, down to Sachs, out it goes to Miller. Here's Pignon. Nice passing. Around it goes to Bailey. Opposite corner now, Miller. Up top to Pignon, 14 on the shot clock. Here's Mendoza down to Sachs. Sachs one dribble, turns and tried to put a shot up. It's stripped and stolen away by Babka. And here come the Tigers. 3.45 to go now. Quick pass to Wilkerson, under the bucket, puts it up. Missed the shot, rebound goes to uh, Richie, turnaround jumper, no. Rebound there to Babka. She gonna draw a foul on Stabby Sachs, I believe. So Liliana Babka at the free throw line. That's her uh, first for Abby Sachs. It's the 10th team foul, so uh, the Tigers will be shooting two for the rest of the ball game. At the free throw line again is uh, Babka. First free throw is in for Liliana. One for two from the foul line. Here comes Gracie Schofield. She replaced Wilkerson for the Tigers. Second one off the back of the iron. Miller with a rebound. Oh, yeah. and they're going to say that. Uh, yeah, she dragged that foot. Uh, Kyan turned the ball over. So it'll be Tiger ball, baseline inbounds, right of the backboard. Babka will trigger the play. Gets it into Schofield. Jump ball. And a jump ball called. That stays with the Tigers. So we'll do it again from the baseline and again for Babka. Right of the backboard. Inbounds to the flasher. That is... Uh, Sprague missed a shot, and the Pignon will uh, track down the rebound, and she'll bring it all across midcourt, down to Sachs. Abby back to Pignon for three. That's off. Rebound right in the hands of uh, 
Eland. Eland didn't know where to go with it and ends up traveling. The high climbers get the ball back. It'll be baseline inbounds for Shelton, left of the backboard. Bailey will trigger the play. 3.15 to go in the ball game. Into Miller. Miller bumped and out it goes to Mendoza for three. No, rebound goes to Babka. Out to Eland. That was Mendoza's first shot of the game. Here's Schofield down to the Babka. She oh, yeah. walked. Yep. She lost the handle, came down with it, and it'll be a turnover. So high climbers get the ball back under three minutes to go in the ball game. 47-23 uh, is the score. Shelton with the lead in the ball. High post feed to Sachs. Out it goes to Mendoza. Takes a three. That short rebound goes to Eland. And here is Schofield. Pushes it up to Babka. Babka steps by the defense with a scoop and a score. It's only her second basket. She has five points. It was a nice move by her. It was. She split was. the defense and she scooped it in there. Here comes Mendoza. Over to Pignon. Into the corner to Miller. And a foul on the pass off. That'll be on Babka, I believe. It's her fourth. Fifth team foul. It'll be uh, sideline nearly in the corner uh, inbounds for Pignon. And here comes Jasmine Rivera as Pignon will sit down. So it's 47-25. Mendoza has the ball to Rivera. Down it goes to Sachs. Abby back out to Rivera off of uh, Jazz's hands out of bounds. I guess they're going to say it went off her hands out of bounds. It'll be Tiger ball with 2.16 to go. Here's Eland, back to uh, Schofield, back to Eland. Eland's going to take a three off the glass and then count it. Maggie with her first to basket, it's a three. Here's Mendoza uh, up the center of the court. Get it out to Monroe. I'm sorry, that's not Monroe. That is going to be Rivera. And there's a foul. I believe it's going to go on Jazz. Yep, it does. That's her second? Yeah. Okay. At the free throw line for two uh, free throws is Liliana Babka, where she's one for three, and that's five points. 154 to go in the game, and the first free throw is off the back of the iron. She'll get another one. Babka's second free throw. In and out, rebound goes to Abby Sachs. So get it to Jasmine Rivera. We'll hand it off to uh, Mendoza. Oh, little miscommunication was that pass. Oh, it was tipped. That's why it went out of bounds. Oh, okay. and landed no in between Miller and uh, Bailey and goes out of bounds. So I thought there was just a little miscommunication there. So baseline inbounds for the high climbers. Rivera will trigger the play, the left of the backboard. Gets it into Mendoza, knocked out of bounds. Oh, stolen away by Sprague, and then she stepped on the sideline, and that'll be a high climber ball. And a reset of the shot clock. 144 to go in the ball game. Again, our score is 47-28. Shelton with the lead in the ball. Rivera will trigger the play. Sideline inbounds. Gets the ball back from Bailey into the corner to Mendoza. Looking for Sachs, finds Rivera. Rivera had it slapped out of her hands, but goes right to Bailey. Bailey on the drive, kicking out to Miller. Miller will take a three. That's off. Rebound pulled down by Sprague. That's Miller's first touch of the game. Out of bounds on the pass down low, and another turnover goes right back to the high climbers. 124 to go in the ball game. 47-28 our score. Here's Tanalee Mendoza up to Jasmine Rivera into the corner to Kyan Miller. Top to uh, Ani Bailey. Cross it goes to Mendoza for three. No. Rebound poked out of bounds. I say it went off of the Tigers. It'll be high climber ball with 15 on the shot clock. 108 to go on the game clock. Baseline inbounds. R uh, Rivera will trigger the play right of the backboard. Lob it into Miller. Miller. To Bailey, Bailey foul line jumper. Yeah, oh. Oh, hit the glass, hit the rim, hit the glass again, and drops in. So uh, Ani with her first point. Pushes the lead up to 49 28. Here's Sprague with 50 seconds to go. Schofield for three. 
Rebound goes to uh, Babka. Her fadeaway drops in. And it's a 19-point lead for the High Climbers. Up it goes to Bailey. And she has seven points. Mendoza over to Rivera, into the corner to Miller, back to uh, Rivera, bumped and fouled. And that'll be on Cassandra Ritchie. I think she says she's got five. I only have her down for three. She's there walking away. They say it's five on her. Well, we'll go with it, I okay. guess. I did. Emily Wilkerson will step on. Interesting. And the senior will get a big hug. Inbounds goes to Bailey, to Mendoza. She's going to drive, put up a shot, and it goes out of bounds. They say it was deflected. It stays with the high climbers. I guess they're going to call that a block, Jerry. I guess. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 24.9 seconds remain in the game. 49 to 30 is their score. Shelton with the lead in the ball. Rivera gets it into Bailey. Off her fingertips, out of bounds. It'll be Tiger ball with 23 and a half seconds remaining. Sprague quickly up it goes. And Wilkerson with a jumper at the foul line elbow. Missed it. Rebound goes to Babka. She put it up and in. She has nine points now. And the clock is counting down to Bailey. Bailey will hold the ball and just hold on to it as the buzzer is going to sound. 49-32, our final score is Shelton High Climbers. Pull out the victory here tonight on Senior Night in the Mini Dome. We'll take a time out. We'll be back to wrap this thing up, talk about what's possibly coming up, and more. The final again, Shelton 49, Centralia 32. Hood Canal Communications keeps our community connected. We provide communication services that connect friends and family. We're connecting with our neighbors through support of local causes and events. Connecting our students and schools to a world of learning resources. And connecting you to the latest technology with local customer service. Learn more about our community connections, high-speed internet, and streaming TV options. Visit hcc.net today. Hi folks, Steve McAllen with Mason Web TV powered by HCC, your source for live high school sports with play-by-play. -play. Once again, Mason Web TV is broadcasting select games every week this school year. Football, basketball, baseball, softball. We bring you all the action from the kickoff to the final whistle, from the tip-off to the final buzzer, from the first pitch to the last out. Watch how it happens on Mason Web TV powered by HCC. Business owners, you can get in on the action as well. Go online, email, call, or text right now to find out how. Mason Health wants you to stay healthy. Are you turning 65? Mason Health can help you maximize all that Medicare has to offer. Did you know Medicare covers preventive services under the Medicare Wellness Program? Medicare coverage includes screenings for depression, diabetes, obesity, and alcohol misuse. You can also get mammograms, pap smears, pelvic exams, and more. Talk to your health care provider, or you can find more information on masongeneral.com. Well, it's a final here in the Mini Dome. The Shelton Lady High Climbers in the regular season with a 49 to 32 win over the Centralia Tigers. High Climbers did it behind uh, 14 points from uh, Olivia Liv Henry. Nine from Anna Pignon. She hit uh, three three-pointers. Eight points for Gabby Monroe. Five for uh, Didemus and Sister Cordova. Four for Cedar Wiley. Four for Raquel Ruiz. Three for Danica Squire and a basket for uh, Ani Bailey. For the Tigers in their losing effort to Brooklyn Sprague led the way with 11 points. Seven from Emily Wilkerson. Nine 
from Liliani, uh, Liliana Babka. Uh, three from Maggie Eland and two free throws from Gracie Schofield. Jerry, uh, you want a little bit more time? No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay, fine. go ahead, Jerry. Okay, uh, Daryl's still working on. Oh, no, Daryl just turned in his statistics. For the high climbers, well, let's uh, let's start with the visitors. The Centralia. They were nine for 19 from the field. They were a little bit under uh, 50%. They shot uh, 10 for 49 from the field for 21%. They had 24 turnovers. They cut those turnovers down a little bit in the second half. Uh, for Centralia, Centra uh, or for Shelton now, Shelton was 11 for 14 from the foul line. They reached my goal. They had 15 turnovers. I guess they reached that goal. Uh, the other thing is they shot 58 times, made 17, 29%. Uh, but the key thing is, can I go to Gerald's statistics? I think that will be, will tell the, tell you exactly what, why the score was, what it was. Okay, Shelton had 40 rebounds, 12 assists. Squire was the leading rebounder with eight rebounds. Good job, Danica. And uh, Olivia Henry had four assists. So Trini had 35 rebounds. They had six assists. Uh, Bab uh, I was impressed with Liliana Babcock. She had uh, 11 rebounds, and uh, Schofield had three assists. Uh, so, you know, if I was to pick a player for the Centralia Tigers that I was impressed with was uh, Liliana Babcock. Yeah, we played nine, well. Yeah, 9.7 in the quarter, fourth quarter. And lots of rebounds. Lots of rebounds. Okay, Jerry, uh, is that all you had over there? I think that's pretty well it. Uh, you know, the, the high climbers did a nice job uh, passing the ball inside. Uh, look at the number of assists they had. They had 12 compared to Centralia 6. That makes a big difference, plus the turnovers. Well, now, we want to talk about the possibility of a tiebreaker tomorrow. We have to find out whether uh, what the outcome of Black Hills and uh, uh, Rochester is, and if... Rochester beats Black Hills. Boy, I think it that creates a three-game, three-team tie for that fourth and final spot in the district playoffs. And if that's the case, then the Shelton girls will host Rochester tomorrow, right here. Uh, time to be determined. Now we we don't know if that game's over yet or not. I could make a quick check, but uh, we will have all the information when it becomes available on MasonWebTV.com, and we will be here for that game if it does happen. Other than that. Um, our next broadcast will likely be the Shelton Boys basketball team's uh, game in the District 4 Picktail. Uh, game next Thursday. Matchup uh, is Columbia River, and the tip-off time is 6 o'clock on Thursday right here. So we're the fourth place We're team number four. And Columbia River's number five. Number five from the Greater St. Helens. Last year we went down and did that game. And, and the high them. And High Climbers came away with a last-second victory. Um... This year, it's up. It, this, Evco is hosting, so that's they, they alternate. I don't know why. I I, I think it's it. good. Yeah. Well, it's good and it's bad. I think if you have a better record, you should host, regardless of whether you're five or four. That's how I see it. You mm -hmm. pay, you play, you get a better record. You should host. It's your your uh, reward for being having a better record. That's just my opinion. Doesn't matter if it's down there or whatever. whatever. And I think uh, I I want to say that. Uh, the Rapids are 8-8 eight and eight in their league. I looked at it today and I can't remember. I think they might be 8-12 and 12 overall off the top of my head. So It was a great game last year. Yeah, and it looks like a pretty good matchup to uh, this year too. So, But that's next Thursday. We're hoping that it will be a tiebreaker game tomorrow at 6. Uh, we'll have that information for you as soon as it becomes available. Other than that, there is also the possibility of a Merriam Knight Girls Class 1B District Tournament game on Tuesday. 
and North Mason could make the District 2-3 uh, three, uh, two, three tournament as well. Uh, check MasonWebTV.com for uh, updates on the playoffs and our future broadcasts. Of course, if we don't do another basketball game, we've got uh, baseball and softball coming up in March, but we'll talk more about that. I think that will do it for us here in the Mini Dome tonight. My thanks to Jerry Apple, Aiden Yu, and Daryl White for their help with tonight's uh, game. Final score, again, Shelton 49, Centralia 32. We will talk to you next week. This broadcast on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, was made possible by Hood Canal Communications, committed to providing quality services that exceed customer expectations in voice, video, data, and customer service, keeping our community connected since 1934. Mason PUD3, connecting our community with safe, reliable, economical, and sustainable services 24-7. And Mason Health, united community, empowered people, exceptional health. Thanks for watching Mason Web TV, powered by HCC.